Welcome to HydroSim Tutorials. This video is a 4 minute quick start to HydroSim. We'll cover all main bases in helicopter view. Ok, let's go. The online library is HydroSim's core. It's divided in three main categories. Components, Components Plus and Symbols. Symbols are simply drawing objects. They hold no specific information. Components are symbols with added information, like manufacturer, type, size and datasheet. So components represent actual product parts and symbols don't. Components Plus is where you save previously designed schematics or part of schematics in your own local library for easy access in future projects. The local library is a private library folder, saved on your local or network hard drive. This is where you start a new schematic. Now use the search bar to locate a component in the library preview window. The first four characters of a manufacturer's code will do. Or browse the content window. Now select the component. Drag and release to insert into the canvas. An item number request pops up. If you don't like this option, deselect it here. For now we'll just cancel and the component comes up in blue. Move your mouse to place in position. If needed, click the spacebar to rotate in 90 degree angles. Left click to secure. Move your mouse to repeat. Left click to secure again. And right click to disconnect once done. The bill of materials is located here, under assist. It automatically generates a list of all used components in the canvas. It can be printed or exported. And you can customize it to your needs. HydroSim applies connection lines to connect the ports of components or symbols. Summon a connection line by the icon in the sidebar, or use its short key C. Select a port. The connection line starts with a bright blue square. Direct the line with your mouse. Left click your mouse at every turn to secure the line this far. Once you reach the desired port, right click the port to secure the line as a whole. The connection line is final now and turns orange. You can also connect a port to an existing connection line. The orange dot is a connection node needed to connect two lines. HydroSim connection lines are smart because they stay connected when moving components or symbols within your design. Left click on a line or text box to select your component. Or use a selection window. If drawn from left to right, only those components that are completely included will be selected. If drawn from right to left, all components, also those that are partly included, will be selected. To move your selection, keep your mouse button pressed while you drag two bright blue shadow components to their new location in the canvas. Once in place, release the mouse to both secure and deselect. Or move with the arrow keys as an alternative. To edit a component, select, right click and go to properties. Or double click on the component to open the properties. Textboxes can edit it this way as well. Last, a few navigating tricks. The scroll wheel zooms in and out. Click the Zoom All button to show the entire schematic again. Or use its short key Home. Panning is done by holding the middle mouse button. Or press Shift and the left mouse button together. That's it. Thank you for watching this quick start. If you would like to learn more, please watch our other tutorials.